Hi, I'm Sultana Jones and I want to uh, finish up with the Lord's Prayer that we've been working on. My husband has been um, uh, also sharing with us the Lord's Prayer and I wanted to go to the part uh, that we are at now. See, if, if you've been following these um, prayers, we're doing the Lord's Prayer. It's found in Matthew 6 verse uh, 9 and it's the Lord's Prayer template and it's you see everyone sitting around and they're, they're, uh, the disciples are learning how to pray and Jesus is sharing them this prayer and saying this is the way you should pray. So we're down at um, uh, chapter 6 verse 13 and if you see me looking aside, I'm reading, I've got my um, uh, Bible scriptures up here on the computer also. So I'm reading um, uh, where we're at. So we are at, um, and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. So wait along. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. It, I'm not saying that God is leading us into temptation. You know, like if we go to, um, see, God doesn't do that. Go to James, in the book of James, chapter 1, uh, 13 through 14, it says, Let no one say, when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone for every man is tempted when he is drawn away and tempted by his own lust. So you see, it's not, um, it's not just that. It's what's in our heart. We're, we're, we're led away by temptations that are in our heart and lusts that are in our, in our heart. Um, and so we make a mess of a lot of things and we do something that's critical and, and, and something that we do have to repent of. We lay accusations at the door of God at all, all the time. We, we get ourselves in a mess because we were led about uh, in temptation. We purchase things that we could not afford. We um, uh, dated that person when we knew that we shouldn't have been in that relationship and we saw the signs clearly and now we're in a mess um, uh, or maybe you got sexually active uh, before marriage and and um, and now you're you know you're on the road to divorce whatever the situation is um, it, it's 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 our heart that led us away. Lead us not into temptation. See, we're, we're asking God in this part that we not be led away. God, expose our heart. Let us see the things before they happen so that we don't walk in that way. Show us beforehand. That's why he's, he's so awesome. He's the good shepherd. And he will guide that sheep into... Uh, good pastors, you know, into places where we should go. So if you've prayed in uh, uh, the prayer before and you're already seeking God, you're already laying, giving him ownership and Lord, not ownership, but Lordship, you know, you've made him Savior and now you've made him Lord of all. And um, so you're asking God already that in the prayer. So now it's time to be honest with yourself and honest with God to see the areas uh, that you have caused a mess. Like for instance, lay out all the bills. You're, you're drowning in bills? Okay, well lay them all out before God and then see the bills that, oh, okay, well God said do this. No, or was it you that said do this, you know? Lay out all the things that are that where your debt is and then repent for the things that you've done. For the things that you've done outside of God. For 
you know, jumping into something that you shouldn't have jumped into. I, I have a good example. I, for myself, I, you know, went ahead and I got a, um, I was so excited. I wanted to, a, a car. I wanted a car really bad. I needed one. And so, you know, I went and got the, I went to the, a, a dealership and he saw me coming. I'm telling you, he had me, me written up already. And I fell for every hook, line, and sinker. And when it says sinker, it's a sinker. I'm going to tell you now and I'm in debt. And I've got this, this weight that's tied around me that I've got to drag along because I was led away. So how does, and I can't sit and accuse God and say, God, you, you know, why are you letting this happen? Why is this happening, God? You did this or you didn't do this. We got to repent for that. So how, what does it look like? Oh, God, Lord, in this place, Lord God, I was led away by the lust of my flesh, God. I was led away, Lord Jesus, and I am so sorry. I repent before you, God, for the, 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 the mess that I've uh, 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 made. And Lord God, I have accused you and I have blamed you. For things that I have done and doors I opened and the messes that I caused. And I blamed you for it, Lord God. And Lord, you you are faithful and you, you, you said you never leave me nor forsake me. And Lord God, as I lay this before you, Lord, this mess that I have, I'm laying this before you. And I'm asking, Lord God, that you would help me and turn the situation around. Lord God, I ask that you would do that in my husband's heart and in his life, Lord. Search his heart to see areas where he was led away by the lust of his flesh. And areas where he got into, you know, things that, that he shouldn't have gotten into because of the lust of his heart. Or any situation, Lord. Reveal our hearts to us. And Lord, most of all, let us be honest honest Lord God because we're only lying to ourselves so father I ask this in your name amen so that's what we have to do first we got to be honest with ourselves and know that we're led away by the lust that's in our hearts and I'm going to go ahead and go into the next one uh, in our in my next video lead me not into temptation but deliver us from evil and so that's the next one I'm going into